Hello and welcome to the Bonehead Championship. I'm Ben for the Bonehead Podcast and today I'm joined by the OG, Rich Saxby. How you doing, man? All right? Very well, man. Thank you very much for having me. Oh, it's so good to get to play Blood Bowl with you. It's, it's been a long time coming. Forever, man. Forever. Ah. So, Bonehead Championship is our mini league. We've got six teams who are playing across five rounds. We're then going to take the top four through a knockout tournament and find our very first Bonehead Championship champion. So, today we are running the Never Bay Nightmares. Bit wrecked up, no blitzers. <laughs> Uh, classic Skaven it's properly done oh dude um, <laughs> against uh, the Midheim Crawlers our Necro team Rich who are you running today? I, I'm i running the Necros yeah um, I've, I've done some old school Necro on Blood Bowl 2 um, with the Asylum so I figured I'd um, stick my hand at it again and see whether I can do it in the without uh, the whites without the whites yeah well both these teams were a little bit beat up uh, we lost a Blitzer died and one of the wraiths died from the necro team so you've only got one not white now one <laughs> not white yeah count threadula died uh <laughs> yes bad times and uh, the rat ogre creamed through and i think murdered a blitzer literally killed him buzz justice is out is injured as well wow. and the rat ogre also took out a gutter runner so it's a bit of a depleted team on both sides uh, yeah i'll tell you what let's have a look at the team lists so first up, let's have a look at the teams that are going to be playing. So we've got our Skaven team, the Never Bay Nightmares. So the team sitting at 1-1 and 1 at the moment, exactly average results, which is a bit unusual for a uh, for a Skaven team. However, it is a bit unusual for a Skaven team. This build has got the Rat Ogre and started out with the Rat Ogre and only two of the Gutter Runners. And unfortunately, as you can tell, it's just taken a solid beating if you watch the round three game with skaven you will know that it's my fault however the team is doing just fine so one blitzer is dead and another blitzer is gone and a gutter runner is out they did have enough money to pick up another gutter runner so player five joins the never bay nightmares zeke cloud feats as a gutter runner so this team has got no blitzers for this game and only two gutters so a bit of a maimed and lamed skaven team but the linemen are doing really well, which is really unusual for a Skaven team, especially a Skaven team that's got anything to do with me. So what we've got, we've got one gutter runner with block, uh, Ratfink three toes. We've got Click Warp Slinger, who's got accurate and five SPP. But we've got Queet, our lineman, with block. We've got Stormnose with tackle and Gritlock with kick as well. So we should be able to use that kick to put the ball where we want it to be. We've only got two gutter runners, but we can use that to our advantage. Um, Queet is going to be our it's going to be our blitzer this game queet is going to be everything we've got from an offensive point of view uh rat fink with the block is going to stay alive potentially so look out for number three to be our massive scoring threat we've got the toxic rat then draw rat ogre with no spp so we've got him as an alternative blitzer and we've got queet as a block blitzer we've also got storm nose with tackle who's going to come in handy against those ghouls but a little bit low on the defensive front here for scave and we're going to end up with two journeymen two blockers and one of them strength two however no not however this team's going up against a team with two werewolves i will be piloting the never bay nightmares and you know what i have played worse situations with skaven and come out okay the rad ogre really needs to do some punches we've only got two gutter runners but we do have warp slinger number seven who is just the best thrower in the game and that Skaven team is going to be taking on the Necromantic team here, the Midheim Crawlers. So they're 0, 2 and 1. So uh, they are half a win essentially behind the Skaven team. Now this team's rocking in at 1085. So these teams are quite close when it comes to team value. So we're not going to see uh, much in the way of inducements for this match. Um, Hackensack and Frankenweenie, two flesh golems here. Frankenweenie does have block. So a strength 4 blocker is going to be quite powerful here. Is going to be facing up against a strength 5 rat ogre. So it's going to be strength four block versus strength five frenzy it's going to be an interesting one stand firm may actually help out in this situation now not a fury is rocking blodge now so we've got a level three werewolf um who's just doing a phenomenal job so we've got not a fury the blodge werewolf and we've got jaeger von bites our vanilla werewolf who is joining this team now as well so both werewolves both flesh golems we don't have both wraiths unfortunately one of the wraiths died again because it's a wraith and failed regeneration so larry the laundry is going to be rocking it solo here um, with count threadula being 
deceased for good this time. Maraguts and Rotten Fingers. We've got two ghouls here. No level ups there. And one, two, three, four zombie linemen there as well. So two rerolls on this team versus the three rerolls of the Skaven team. 1085 is fine. No money in the cash, having spent 125 on the werewolves. Now, two werewolves on this team. That's two speed eight pieces and frenzy. They are absolute gutter runner hunters. So if we can see uh, Rich use these werewolves to target those gutters early, they get they get four die blocks, right? Not a fury there with blood should be able to get in a position to throw two dice frenzy, two dice more against those dodgies. Um, and the bludger, from, I've got bludge on the side, a bludge on each side, but the werewolf here with bludge does have fury so it's going to be really interesting what we're going to see those flesh golems probably go up against the rat ogre and the werewolves going up against the um the gutter runners is going to be pretty tough they just one blocker there with larry the laundry but also two got two two dodges this team is really starting to shape up the bludge werewolf is a massive is a basically a star player at this point now and going up against a crippled skaven team i am going to have to play this team and fob off both those werewolves to linemen and that could be very costly for me um when it comes to playing against this team that rad ogre is going to have to get some removal probably avoid the flesh golems they're not too fast they're not agile enough so i'm just going to have to maximize i think the rat ogre blitzes frank and weenie though strength four block is going to mince through my team and not a fury there the bludging werewolf is just terrifying so this team's in a pretty good shape to get some uh, some skills if Maraguts can get a touchdown there is going to level up and that'll be another bludger on this team uh, ramstein and feel the rock if they throw a random mvp or something they may be in a position to grab i don't know uh, wrestle or block for a zombie lineman not too interested in kick with this team at the moment but some extra cash to get that other wraith back would be pretty great all right so we've looked at the teams a good mix of skills on there, but also a little bit of loner kicking around on both the teams. How are you feeling about the matchup? I, I've, I don't think I've ever beaten Skaven in my entire life, so it would be nice to actually um, put, put, put it to rights. At least kill a couple. As long as I can kill a couple, I'll be happy. Uh, this Skaven team is getting the full Skaven experience. Um, and mostly at my hands, which I feel really bad about, and mostly at the hands of the Rat Ogre. So I think if the Rat Ogre does well, Got a bit of bash on that side. Only two gutter runners. A throw with accurate is always nice. Mm, very much so. But you've got two werewolves now. One of them's a blodger. Uh, yeah. Do you love a werewolf? Um, yeah. I just got a channel Randall. <laughs> oh, oh, kill, a, <laughs> kill a Randall. Yeah, man. Need to get him on the show mm. um, for the oh, final ultimate casualties. <laughs> <laughs> Be awful. Uh, right. All good to go. All right. Let's get to the pitch. First things first, dedicated fans. So Necro have got plus one, Skaven have got plus two. So D3, Rich. Two for the Skaven, D3. And one, two. So two for the Necro and yep. four for the Skaven. So two to four. Uh, weather, one dice each. Oh, thank goodness for that. We've had, some, we've had some weather on here so far. <laughs> so that's all right. And for the kick, it's a two and a one. All the ones. All right, so do we want to kick or receive? Bash-wise is going to be bad all the way around. Um, I think we'll kick. So Never Bay Nightmares are set up for the kick. Let's go, I think, for the sweet spot. Uh, we do have kick on this team, actually, but I think we'll just roll it natural. So two squares, two, three. So at the moment, it's going to land on the werewolf. Uh, kick is a 10, which is a blitz. So D3 plus 3 Skaven. 5 Skaven get to do things. So might as well open up with a blitz from the Rat Ogre. And 1, 2, 3. We'll attack Scarecrow there. So really angry. He's good to go. So 1, 2, 3. That gives us strength 5 on strength 3. So 2 dice. We'll take the POW. Drop him to there. And we'll follow up. Uh, this guy's got Mighty Blow. Eight, and then their armor nine plus. So mm -hmm. mighty blow on that. And then eight is a KO for yep. Scarecrow. So Scarecrow is out. Then I think we can follow up with one more square. So that's one. Let's go and just bring up some defense. Move him to there. Him to, oh, there actually. Got to forget this frenzy stuff. So one, two, three. And two, three, four, five, 
into there and put the assist on. And then we'll bring down this guy. One, two, three, four, five, and six to forget and to protect him from the frenzy blitz there, I think. Then the ball lands on your werewolf, who gets to catch it on a four plus. He gets when the ball. I... So I'm gonna move the great big bed sheet in the sky. <laughs> One, two, three, four, onto here. When then, I'm going to be putting one of my ghouls in harm's way. Two, three, four, to take up the tackle zone here. Wow, feeding the ghoul hmm. to the rat ogre. Hopefully, because there's going to be some semblance of plan in this attack. <laughs> Not guaranteed though. So my well, golem here is going to be attacking your lineman in the centre. Yep, two dice. No dodge? No, nope, he's knocked down, so power star. So he is going to go to there, but he is not going to follow up. Cool, cool. So armour eight plus. Oh, Apologies, Wolfie. <laughs> no. He's alright. He's okay. However, Wolfie is now going to go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. To mark up. Not Buzz Justice. Oh, yeah. The loner, formerly known as Buzz Justice. <laughs> what we are going to do now is he is going to blitz this lineman here. Okay, yeah. One, two, three, four. So five will be the blitz. And Only with the support, two. that's two dice. And this is bludging. Doesn't need it. So five for the blitz and powers him down. So he is going to go to here. And I will follow up. I have to. It's frenzy. Yeah, isn't it? frenzy. Five. Uh, claws on this guy. Never mind. Absolutely. No resource. So we're at five. And then I am going to tuck him into there. All right. This guy is going to come up to here and then stomp all over this lineman. <laughs> so plus one for the foul. Doesn't nope. do anything. He's but right. he's not sent off. So this guy is now going to come hopefully to assist down here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Take the edge off and I'm going to use my loner to go for this guy. Yep, two dice. Push or both down? It'll have to be the push. So he will go to there and not follow up. Oh, my golem is going to play strength five, four, one. Four, so you've got one dice on the rat ogre or two dice on the blitzer. I am going to take the two dice on the blitzer. Yeah, with block. There you go, you've got block. This guy is not actually a blitzer. Oh, he's the... So he goes down. And only another double right. two. Um, but that is my everything. Turn one for the Skaven. We'll stand up. Uh, this guy, I'm pretty sure he's just going to be fodder for the Rat Ogre. We've seen this a couple of times before. Now, we've got a guy here we can bring back. So we need one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We'll bring him round and just mark up that werewolf. We'll stand up this guy as well, ready to get punched. But at least kind of just gumming up the centre. There's probably going to be nothing we can do over here right now. We've got safeties in the backfield. So we can do this. One, two, three, four, five. To sort of take away this assist and then we'll blitz with this line wrap so it's one two three stand four for the blitz and it's going to be one dice on a blodge werewolf <laughs> yeah and it's going to be a re-roll oh, oh it's going to be like that is it okay he goes down but the werewolf is still marked his armor's all right he's okay right i'm starting it off with a block it's dangerous as it is so zombie is going to go for the thrower Yep, that's with Wolfie's assist. Two dice. Push with push. I will push him to there. And I won't follow up. Okay. I mean, that wasn't my plan. That's changed everything. Okay, Wolfie's actually going to go for the block. Just a block. Okay, two dice. With block. got block. I do not have block, so the thrower goes down. He stays where he is. And a seven is all right. So that's him done. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So my bed sheet is coming to mark a gusser runner. 
My fresh column is going to block this line. Then. Yeah, two dice then. I only needed one. So he is going to go to there and he shall follow up. And that stand firm in the way. It's looking good, there breaks the is. armor. He's stunned. He's all right, but he's down. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, then bring in this little happy chappy. And then, no one's got guard, have they, for you guys? No, gosh, no. Okay. So my other wolf is going to go for your lineman with the assist from the zombie. Yeah, two dice with frenzy, so push. Push to there, has to follow up. And has to go again. Double, yep. So he shall go to there. And again. Ooh. Can he survive? He can. Mm, just. So I'm going to blitz with a ghoul. I haven't blitzed yet, have I? You have not blitzed yet. So, so uh, one die over here. Yep. On the kick guy. Both down. Reroll time? Yeah, reroll one. Right. Reroll one. It's a push. I do. So he can go to there. So for one. Two, three, four, five. To here. And then he's going to block that lineman. Oh, no, sorry, that lineman. Yep. That should be a two die without issue now, shouldn't it? Yeah, it is, yeah. Two dice. You've got block. I don't have dodge. All I yours. will put you down where you are, I think. Chance to kill the not buzz justice would be nice. No, just no. a five. Frank and Wheelie knocking them down, but not breaking the armor. So I'm actually going to try and dodge my ghoul out. Okay, dodge in. Back With a dodge reroll, he's good to go. So one, um, two, just yeah. for there. And two for the Skaven, um, he's down. This guy's just going to get up and stand there, ready to get punched again. Same thing here for our blocking. Does he block? No, he's tackle. He's tackle, yeah. Uh, we do have a blocking guy over here. Now, we've also got a Skaven over here, so I think we're gonna have to run it back. One, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven. Let's just come up the center. Let's bring the gutter round. Actually, we'll put him there so that we've got a little two die block coming up later. We're gonna leave him there for now. Now, what we've got here is a potential. So we're gonna go one, two, three, and stand him up. Uh, so at the moment, if I'm blitzing, you've got assist. I don't have an assist. Mm -hmm. So it has to be the gutter runner now for a walk. So dodge. Dodge reroll. Yeah. Okay, good. One, uh, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. I think probably there is fine. So that takes up this. And then we'll blitz again with one dice from a line rat on a bludging werewolf. <laughs> Generally speaking, a very bad strategy. Now push is fine. And we will follow up, because that now brings him into contact with the Rat Ogre. And the Rat Ogre is going to try and lay into him. So, um, very, very angry. But okay, so he's alright. So Rat Ogre, punching this guy. He's blocked out by these guys, so that's okay. So just two dice. Still got Blodge. But the Coconut will win the day. <laughs> we'll drop him back to there, and we have to follow up. So he goes down, uh, armor is okay, and the ball goes to five. Right in the middle. Okay, so two rat tackle zones and a ghoul. So that's very fortuitous. It's not bad at all. Um, over here then we'll take two dice against the Michael Jackson tribute zombie. <laughs> Power him down and we won't follow up. Let's, I've got. The speed advantage there, eight is not enough. So those guys have been, those guys have been, they've been. He's there, I think I've risked all of my one die blocks for today. So he'll roll over. MJ's gonna stand up. He's <laughs> got forever to known as There MJ. we go, that's it, he's named. Okay, so what I'm gonna be doing now is using my golem to block, not buzz justice. Yep, two dice with block. Push was not what I wanted, but it will do. In fact, I'm not going to follow up with him because I'm going to be using the ghoul. Oh yeah, two dice from the ghoul. 
Power Star drops him down. So he can go to there, and he won't follow up either on that situation. Okay, eight plus on the armor, or, or you know, 12. But he's uh, all right. He's stunned. I am going to be dodging out my ghoul. Yep, three plus with a reroll. So one, two, three, four. I'll be moving my golem into here. Okay. One, two, three. Ooh, actually. Ooh, that has changed things. So I'm going to stand this guy up and I'm going to blitz with a golem. Yeah, one, strength two, four, three. five, six. Four, so just move you out of the way slightly. Get you in there. So two die blitz on the rat ogre. A push okay. or a pow? Is he going on the ball? He is indeed. Cool. So All who right. shall be going? Try and lay him down without breaking him. Follow up with the golem. All right, armor nine plus, I think, for this guy. No, he's okay. He's all right, but scatter away. A three. Three woods, so it will drop to the side there. Into there. Not ideal. Okay, let's risk it. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six to there. Yep. In fact, I will do one rush to here. Cool. Two plus for the rush, gets it on a five. And leave him there. So I'm gonna use my werewolf to block the guy right in front of him. Yep, yellow is kick. So one dice with frenzy. It's a skull. My it's last reroll. It's a reroll. And it's a star. So he can go to there. He's got to follow. He has to follow because up. Because he's also angry. He's okay. Okay. And I'm gonna use two dice over there. from Michael Jackson with a hat. And he shall go, actually he can go to there and follow up. And then I've only got a one die over there, but I think it's worth the risk. Must um, two dice, strength two. Of course. The gutter. So I will be doing that. Two dice on the gutter. It's like it new. Double skull. It's like it new. <laughs> the slow roll. Ooh. The armor is broken. Come on, gutter runner gets oh. the casualty. So we'll roll the fancy dice, but you do have regeneration. It's badly hurt, but on a four plus, he's going back into reserves. Oh, he's yeah. there. I think we're just gonna stand this guy up and leave him there. We'll stand up the blitzer and leave him in base contact with that ghoul. This guy is stunned. So we are going to bring, not buzz justice, one, two, three, four, five, round there. It's absolute frenzy bait, but I think the werewolf has got other things on his mind at the moment. We're going to uh, blitz with the rat ogre on the bludge wolf. I think he's probably the best target. He's all right, so one, two, three. And then you've got no positive assists right now. So two dice, two different dice. Hmm. Uh, does have dodge, so there. Now you get one assist, but still strength five. So block number two, take the push. What it does do is that does kind of keep them kind of penned in. As it stands here, we've got no way to get onto the ball, but we do have a two die block here from the thrower onto the ghost. He does have foul appearance. It's all right. So two dice on the ghost who has sidestep Ben. Didn't think about that, but I can pow him down. So Rich, where's he headed? Um, he is just going to be coming straight back up. Yeah, but he does go down, so it does still for a second there, I thought I've just popped someone on the ball. Huh. Armor holds. We'll take a quick two die block over here with that guy. And we'll pop him there and we'll follow up. Now we'll bring this gutter runner. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, round to there. And then. We'll make a play for the ball with this guy. Uh, I'm just going to pick up, not going to hand off. One, two, three, four, five. Pick up the ball. Okay. Now, where is safe? <laughs> Nowhere is safe. Five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we are going to go for a dodge with this guy into the open on a three plus. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. At least kind of put a tackle zone in the way. The bed sheet is standing up. Or floating up. 
getting those socks into battle. Hells yeah. There's only one way of doing it, isn't there? Okay, I'm going to be moving my golem, one, two, into here. I'm going to be blitzing my golem on your gutter. Oh no. So, one. Yeah. It's two, so I can just go that way if I want to. You but can. if I go one, two, three, it doesn't really make a difference. One, two, three, four, five. So two go for it. I can push you back up. So I might actually risk that. So let's go one, two, three, four. We're going to rush to here. Okay. He gets I'm it. Gonna rush for the blitz. He gets it at two dice. No rerolls. Both down or a push. He's got block. Oh, he does have block, he? yeah. So he is going to be coming up to here. And then I'm following up. My ghoul is going to dodge out of here. Okay, three plus with a reroll. He's good. One of four. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Into there. And then I'm going to use my werewolf on the rat ogre. That's one dice. And he gets him because he's got block. So down he goes. Knocks him down and he's got claws. So it does indeed. It's going to make it easier. No. Not that easy. Not easy enough. But he is down and out of the way. So what I'm going to do is go one, two, three, four, and put this ghoul up into here. So he is going to try and dodge out. Okay, vanilla dodge, three plus. Yeah, gets it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven into here. Swarming the ball carrier. Um, and I might as well try a cheeky one die over here for funsies. MJ powers him down. Go on, MJ. The epic battle of the sideline. Oh, he just survives. Just survives. Um, and now I'll let them fight over everything else on that end. Skaven 4 will stand up this guy and just go toe to toe with MJ over there. We've got, a, <laughs> we've got a free block here in a moment, but for now, we need to make sure this rat ogre can do things. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven into there. Now taking up both these guys. Uh, I think one, two, three, uh, then four, five, and tag up that as well. Uh, we'll put Buzz Justice here to get a free two die block in a moment. Now, what's the best way to do this? Uh, we're gonna try a two die block here with the kick guy on the zombie. We'll power him down and uh, we're not gonna follow up. Let's let everybody run wild. That's a two and a three. His armor's all right, but that does give us another line wrap. So I think we can bring him up and wedge in there that bludging dude because he's going to cause us problems now we'll try a two dice on the ghost on the sideline yeah why not foul appearance and then two dice on oh, nice. drop him down again sidestep rich where's he headed i am going to place him right there all right i am not going to follow up because of sidelines oh. nine does break the armor and he is stunned Trying to figure out which side the face is. Let's go with that one. All right, now we need to do the actual things that matter. And that is going to be a blitz from the roger onto this ghoul there. So, really angry. He's fine. So, one, two, three. So, he stands up. Both these assists are taken away. His is taken away as well. And it is just straight up two die frenzy on the ghoul. Okay, two push is fine. Push him there and follow up. And now we get a frenzy block. Another push is again. And we'll follow up with the roger there. So we're gonna hand off from this guy onto this guy. He does have a tackle zone on him, so it's gonna be a three plus handoff. There we go. <laughs> Let's burn the reroll. So it gets the handoff to the gutter. And the gutter is gonna dodge to there. So let's get rid of this for now. So that is into a tackle zone. So it's going to be a three plus. Gets it. 
So one, and then two, run away into no tackle zones. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, run him in for the touchdown. Crowd goes wild. So Scarecrow, is he back? Yeah, he is. Okay, so Skaven are set up for the kick. We've got the Count Thridular guy there. Um, we're going to drop it just behind him and see what we can do. Actually, we'll pop it a little bit deeper. Let's see if we can't slow the offense down. So seven, and we'll use... Oh, God, put a kick in the blue sideline. So four squares. Right behind there. Goes to there. And then the kickoff is a five. So high kick, you can move anybody from anywhere onto where the ball's gonna land. So I'm bringing this ball over to here. All right, so he straight up tries to catch it, minus one, four plus. Ooh. Doesn't, so he drops it to six. Puts it just there. And that'll be it. So this ball is gonna move. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven. Two, oh, I don't like where this is headed. To there. I'm going to use Mr. Scarecrow to block him. Okay, he gets an assist, so two dice. Push is good enough. And I'll follow up. He is going to move into here. This guy is going to... One, two, up to there. Seven. To here. There, movement six, and that'd be a rush. Oh, it would, wouldn't it? Yeah. He's good to go. Thankfully. Well remembered. Okay, so I'm going to use my golem to block, not buzz justice. Cool. Straight up two dice with block. There it is. So he can go down. And Mr. Golem will stay where he is. Frank and Weenie yes. does not break the armor. So I'm going to use my blodge to block this guy. Or blitz this guy, sorry. So one, two, three, four is the blitz. Okay, two dice. And this is uh, block on block, doesn't have dodge, so it takes him down. So he will go to there, obviously. Has to follow up into the fearsome tackle zone of my gutter runner. Again, gets away with it. Yeah, he does survive. <coughs> He'll stay there. I am going to Move my werewolf up to there. This guy is going to two-die block. The lineman. Yep. The Michael Jackson duo powers him down. And he shall go to there with a follow-up. He's okay. And I'm going to try and pick the ball up. So okay. one, two. Ball in the backfield, three plus. And he gets it. Three, four, five, six, seven. To there and I'm just going to move this guy into center field. Skaven five so we should probably put somebody on that werewolf in the backfield. We'll stand up not buzz justice and we'll stand up this guy as well. They're okay there for the time being. We're going to stand up this guy and take up these tackle zones. Now we can do a blitz here in a couple of different ways. And I think what we're going to do is bring this guy around to there and then we'll blitz with the Rat Ogre on Blodge Wolf. There we go. And the proper way to do this is one, two, and I think three into there. So that gives two dice on Blodge Wolf. We'll take the POW. Drop him to there and follow up. I was kind of hoping for a bit of a push situation so I could end up on the ball carrier, but that's not bad. That was garbage, however. <laughs> okay, so we've got two guys in the way. Got a golem there who can punch a running lane. So let's move the thrower into there to kind of create a little bit of interference. Let's bring the gutter. One, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine to there. And the kicker. I think the appropriate thing to do with the kicker is to drop him there and see if we can't just start taking some blocks on the werewolf in the future. Talking of taking blocks, we'll take a one die 
on Scarecrow. Uh, yep, no, I deserve that. <laughs> um, yep, no, I'm not even going to take the reroll. That's going to be fine. He's okay. all right. Blodger is standing up and doing nothing else. We're going to go one, two, three. Move this guy into here. This guy is coming up into there. He is going to block him with yep. his friend's assist. Powers him down. Power for now. And then he will follow up. No. Maybe a six, but there's nothing better. My scarecrow is going to blitz your thrower. All right, two dice on the thrower. And he goes down as well. So he'll go to there and he will follow up. Does get the armor this time. And it's a stun. Okay, so my golem is going to block your rat egg on a two die block. Yeah. Because of his two friends. Two supports. Powers him down. He can just there, isn't it? Yeah, he has to go there. So I'll let you move it. Drop him down into there. And he shall follow up. He shall go to the ball. And the Brat Ogre is going to stay there. That breaks the armor. And he is stunned. Okay. That's a bonus. So I'm going to run him to there. For seven movement. He's going to block. Yep, two Oops. dice. Yep. Block. Takes him down. That'll do. He's okay. Hey. So he is going to dodge out to there. Okay, three plus with a reroll. Gets five. it. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And he's going to rush to there for eight. Rush number one. Is he going to stay there or is he going to go further? He is going to go to there for another three. And he gets it. Okay, let's stand that guy up. Let's stand that guy up. And sadly, let's stand that guy up there. All right, we get a two die blitz on the ball carrier, but we have to do a little bit of blocking around first. Um, so we can take two dice here from block on block. Got one assist there. He's tagged by that guy. Is he too foul? Of appearance he's all right so two dice let's just see if we can knock him down again we can so it's sidestep for the ghost um he is actually going to go to here all right we are not going to follow up with that guy and Ooh. breaks the armor apparently the bed sheet not all that tough and stuns him again so we'll bring him round one two three four five six seven and take away that tackle zone. We'll bring this gutter run around one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine to give the support. Now we've got a couple of blocks over here, but at least ball carrier is uh, marked for now. Um, so appropriate order of these blocks doesn't massively matter. So it does massively matter. I just killed his tail. This guy is going to block the werewolf with a support, powers him down to the edge, and we'll follow. So backup plan was to make myself feel better by surfing the werewolf, but that's not what we're going to do right now. We're going to go for a blitz from this guy onto the ball carrier. Right, one, two, three in there. So we've got an assist from the uh, gutter runner, and we do get a coconut. Drop him there and follow up. So Ghoul is down, Oof. his armour is broken, and he is casualtied, badly hurt. No regen on the Ghouls, and the ball goes to two from there. He's in place. We've got a gutter runner, but it would be bad dodges, but now we can risk stepping away. One, gets the dodge. Two, three, four, five, six. Dodge to there. 
with a dodge reroll. Seven. And then might as well try and pick up the ball on eight. And then we'll bounce back to there for nine. And he starts to feel better. So this guy is going to block that guy there with the Scarecrow's help. Yep, two dice. He's down. So he's going to go, in fact, to there with a follow-up. He's okay. Big boy is going to attack, not Buzz Justice. Two dice again with block. Didn't need it this time. So he's going to go right up into there. And he is going to follow up. No. He's okay. So I might as well do the two dot block over here with my golem. Yep. Oh, I do not have block and I do not have any rerolls. Oh, he goes down. My guy actually does have block. Uh, armor holds. Okay. And seven for the Skaven. Um, let's stand this guy up before we do anything. Let's stand this guy up before we do anything. Let's stand the thrower up as well. And let's run him the heck away. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's bring this guy with him. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. A rush for one. Over here, we'll go one, two, three, four, five, six. To there, I think, is probably the right thing to do. We'll take two dice here on the ghoul with some support. Push doesn't really do anything, that's fine. Blodge Wolf with the Rat Ogre. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four. Let's go straight in there, you get... Oh, it's okay, two dice, it's a push and a dodge star. So we'll go uh, two there, follow up. And then another two dice, it's a skull, it's another skull. <laughs> the Rogue goes down. You do have the claw. I don't know if claws works on defense, actually. Doesn't matter. Breaks the armor for the roger. Oh, and he's stunned again. Okay, so I'm just going to stand him up for funsies. Just because it's easier. I need to stand him up as well. Oh, I think I see what's coming. So, this guy is going to be blocking this guy with everybody's assistance. Yeah, with all sorts of emotional support. Oh, oh, both man. down. Here yeah, again. I feel like just saved the rat over from a jolly good fouling there. Armor holds. Uh, zombie holds. Skaven 8, running for the touchdown. Necro are set up for the second half. Kicking to the Never Bay Nightmares. Where do you want the ball, Rich? Just there, please. Just there. Let's go for the kick. Uh, three, two, seven. So where are we? One, two, three. Right on the edge of the pitch. Okay. 2d6 for the kickoff table. It is a six, which is the fans, cheering fans now. So we both roll a d6. It's a six. We now roll on the fancy chart. Okay, press to Nuffle, we get a 15. Under scrutiny, until the end of this half, any player on the opposing team that commits a foul is automatically seen, even if a double is not rolled. All right, fair enough. And then the scatter, Rich. One perfect kick, really. Let's bring this guy... Ooh, do we have an opening? We don't have an opening, so let's bring him across. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. To there, he is going to pick up the ball in a minute. But, oh, I've, pen, I've managed to pen myself in. That was poor setup magic there. So we are going to have to sell this guy to the golem. Take a two die block here with the block dude against the zombie. Push to there and follow. That frees up our blitz from this guy onto Scarecrow on the side. He's not too angry about it. One, two, three, four to there. 
And then we'll take a two die block here. Okay. Powers him down, I think. One, two, three, four, five. To there. Uh, let's roll for some armor. He's all right. Okay. And we go six. And then seven into that guy with a rush. Okay. That pens in the werewolf for now. Then we'll bring around this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven, eight up there. Gets it. Bring up this guy. One, two, three, uh, four, five, six, seven, to there, I guess. Not doing a good job here of creating any kind of pocket, really, but it'll be fine. One, two, three, four, five, six, into there. Now for the pick up and throw. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Pick up the ball with sure hands. Yeah, seven. Add a rush onto the trap door. Yeah. Okay, so that sets us up with a pass and we are gonna go for this guy. One, two, three, four, five, six squares. He's got accurate, so that's going to be a two plus. With a re-roll. Oh. oh, that is a fumbled pass. He fumbles it to three, and that's a turnover. Scarecrow's going to stand up and move to there. So, Flesh Golem is going to block this guy in front of him. Two dice. Push, push. So he... We shall go to there and follow up. Mm, Gollum's going to block him. That's yep, better. double coconuts. So Buzz can go to there. He will actually stay where he is. Yeah, keeps him free. He's okay. So, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. To there. And then MJ is going to block this guy. Okay, two more dice, yeah. And he will. Going to feed him to the golem. I am going to feed him to the golem. And he's not going to go any further. He's going to stay where he is. All he's right. alright. He's okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. He's going to rush to there. Successfully? Yep. And then he is going to rush to there. Oh, wow. And he gets that as well. So got someone straight onto the ball. Okay, so we're going to go one, two, three, four. Try and plug up any sort of lane around there. I'm yet to blitz, aren't I? Or have I blitz? No, no, you haven't needed to. One, two, three, four, five, six. So he's going to blitz him. Yep. So blitz on seven. With two dice. Powers him down. So he shall go to there. So he shall go to the ball. Thank seven you. squares there. Armour holds. And then eight to there. He's going to go to that, to that. One, two, three, four. It's a bit much more muchness. I am going for a three die uphill when you're right over with the werewolf. Uh, that is, One, yeah, six, that is three die up. With Blodge, I have hope. Yeah. Oh, terrible odds. Ooh. Oh, is oh, it a reroll? It is a reroll. That was close. There it is. Ah, uh, we'll take the skull. No mighty oh, blow fine. on defense, though. He's, He's all right. <laughs> Stand up, not buzz justice. One, two, three. Four. I feel like they've got a thing going on now. Um, he'll stand up and die there. Uh, he'll stand up and maybe not die because he's got block. So over here, we're going to go one, two, three. Put a tackle zone on the ball. Now we've got some stuff going on up here that's fine for now. So we will blitz with the thrower onto the ghost. Foul appearance is okay. We'll go one to there. Now it gives us two dice. Um, this ghost is a target. Right, you've got sidestep. Where's he headed? On the ball. 
Ah, I thought you might do that. So one. Uh, we won't follow up for now. That'll be fine. Uh, his armor's all right this time. And then let's scatter the ball to two. So it goes into there. He goes down. So that's one, two, three. Pick up the ball. And then how do we not die now we've got it? Five, six, seven is not a huge amount of distance between me and other stuff. One, two, three to there. I really don't want to shield with a gutter, but I think I'm going to have to to there. Screen in my own backfield with gutters hmm. is not ideal tactics for Skaven. Right, um, really angry, going to go for a walk. He's actually all right with it. So we go one, two to there. Uh, that gives us a two die block with Mr. Green base. Nice. Who can pow that guy down and won't follow up. In fact, as we've got the gust, the dude there will power him up to there and I still won't follow up. Uh, yeah. Armour does break, but he's just stunned. Let's bring this guy back. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven to there, which does kind of complete that weak source pocket. Um, to Lona Boy is just going to do that. He can stand up. He can. Let's do that first. He can't stand up, so he shan't. But he can, and he shall. Okay, Blodge Wolf is up. So, Flesh Golem is going to punch the, the Rat of Block, isn't it? Yep. With a power for now. So he can go to there. And he shall follow up. He's okay. He is going to climb up into there. One, two, three, four. He's climbing to there. The ghoul is going to be blitzing that gutter rod. Okay. So let's go one, two to there. All right. Two dice all day they want the gutter runners. And powers him down. No one dodge. Oh, sorry, I thought, that was, I thought that was open star, yeah. I, mean, I don't mind taking that. <laughs> so he will go to there, but he will also follow up. Better than a kick in the knackers, isn't it? So the werewolf is now going to attack this guy. Yeah, with his support. Four die block, push. Follow and go again. There it Drops is. him down. So he will go to there. Obviously, he has to follow up again. He's right, some like fourth double two, I think. And then my golem's going to block, not buzz. Oh, doesn't go down. No, it's the first time. I'm a bit lost, don't know what to do. Uh, that's it, and he can roll over. Don't have to stand him up, <laughs> um, but I am going to stand him up, and we're also going to stand up block rat. Because uh, I think we should. I feel like the gutter runners are in potentially a bit of trouble, but we'll worry about that. We're going to dodge for a handoff with this guy here. He's going to go one to there and gets it. One, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven. And we'll hand off to Mr. Green and we'll burn a reroll. Who gets it? We'll go for a run. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Let's stay away from the sideline. Uh, Let's go. Have I blitzed yet? No. Alright. Oh, it's going to blitz the cool one. Uh, oh, angry blitz. Blodge Wolf. Mm -hmm. He's alright. And we'll go one, two, three. See if we can't push him away from the ball carrier. Uh, well, oh. that's bad. So we've burnt one reroll this turn. We're going to go for a loner four plus reroll. Oh. Never mind. The roger goes down again. He's okay. He's all right. He stands up. We'll stick him on the sideline. Do we stick him on the sideline? No, we're going to pop him there. That's a bit more sensible, isn't it? So I'm going to start off with the golem blocking line rep. Powers him down. Um, he'll stay where he is for the minute. No armor breaks. 
so one, two, three, four, five. Oh. One, two, three, four to there. He's going to dodge out of there. Is he blitzing or just going for no, a... No, he's going for a walk. With dodge reroll? Yep, dodge reroll. Oh! oh Bludge Wolf goes yep. down and the ground hurts him. KO. KO. I think we can stand at this guy. One, two, three, four, five. Time and place. Keep him away from the <laughs> sidelines in case this goes wrong. Well, two light blitz with this guy. One, mm. two, three. Up to there. Uh, push is fine. And then we'll go for the TD. Ta -da. Mr. Wolf is back. Okay, scaving our setup with a very offensive line. Let's pop the ball to the back there and see if Kick can keep it in a good spot. Uh, yeah, we'll, we'll half this, two upwards, and then for the kickoff is a six, which is... Press enough. Really, it is, yeah. So D6. Rich, it's your turn. Ooh. Have you got the dice? I have. Five. Okay, Knuckle Dusters, choose one player on your team that is available to play during this drive that does not have a loner. That, so that's all of yours, apart from that one zombie. Um, that dude gets Mighty Blow plus one. I will give it to my Blodge Werewolf. Yeah, Blodge Wolf now has Mighty Blow, Block and Dodge. Uh, the ball goes to seven and your turn. So... One, two, three, four. Bring him up to there. Scarecrow is going to beat non blitzer with Gollum's assist. Yeah, powers him down. So then he will stay where he is. He's all right. Yeah, okay. Skaven Arm has been very lucky so far. Yeah, it has. It has been very lucky. So the Gollum is going to move to there. Okay. This Gollum is going to beat non Buzz Justice. Yeah. Powers him down. I did wonder if you were going to give um, Mighty Blow to him. I did consider it. Yeah. Oh, doesn't need it. Ah, oh, just a stun. Sticks around. Just another. Okay. One, two, three. Okay, feeding a zombie to the roger. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. To the arm. Bringing the new wolf round. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. You know what? I would rather put him there thinking about it. I'm going to use Blodge yep. to blitz this guy. So one, two. And then two dice on the blitz. Yeah, gets it straight away. So it so has to follow up for three. So Claws does nothing but Mighty Blow Might. T. Blow it, yeah, doesn't need it. And it's With a 10, it's a casualty. Would you like the fancy dice? I would. It's Bad badly hurt, hurt, but still SPP and a straight up removal there for Bludge Wolf. So that was four? Uh, was it one, two, three? Three even, just three. Four, five, six, seven, eight. To there. Oh, I'm going to attempt to pick the ball up. Two, three, four. Five, six, seven. And then Loner Boy is going to block the lineman in the middle. Yep. Powers him down, clearly bitter about not being eligible <laughs> for the knuckle dusters. And follows up into there. Oh, he's on a vengeance mission. Uh, so that's a stun. And that's my everything. We are going to bring this guy, one, two, three, four, and tag him in place. So there, we'll bring this guy, the thrower, one, two, three, four, five, six. Tag him in place, could be given some good blocks, but it's going to be all right. We'll stand him up, Buzz Justice is down and out, so won't be taking on um, that guy this time around, but we can now go for a bit of a run. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Now, I think 
we've got one reroll left, so eight to there, and then nine to there. Okay, let's bring this guy around. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight on the rush to tag the ball carrier. I know it's going to give an easy block from the ghost, but got to apply pressure. Now let's see if I'm too angry to punch the zombie. He's up for it. Two dice, double push. Let's go there and then follow up and go again. Uh, nice. Star him down and we'll follow up and tag the big bruiser. Nice. Double logos it, breaks the armor and a seven with mighty blow to KO the zombie. Now we've got two gutters and I think them not being around might be the best strategy. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. That way, and then one, two, three, four on the dodge. Five, six, seven, eight, nine to there. One, two, three, four. One, two. My ghosty is going to blitz. One, two. Okay, two dice. Powers him down. So, uh, so follow up for three. He's okay. Okay. Four, five, six to there. Gollum is going to block Lola. Yeah, two dice. Push, push. To there. Um, you know what, he will follow up. My golem is going to block the rat ogre. Yeah, two supports here, giving you two dice with block. With there block. Takes the rat ogre down again. But he's okay. He survives. Unfortunately. <laughs> he's taken some punishment. He has. He's dealt with it very well. One, two, three. He's gonna block him. Okay, so we've got frenzy block here from the werewolf. It's push for one. And then obviously follow up. Four die block, pulls it off. It's up there. Tucks him in. Mighty blow on this as well. And no, doesn't okay. do a thing. To there, he's moving with what? One, two, three, four, five, six. So I'm gonna rush to there. <laughs> With a reroll. Gets a one first time. Oh, oh, you're kidding me. He goes down. Yep. Armor is broken. He's okay. He's stunned, and the ball goes to seven. Which is just to here. Very lucky there. We'll stand him up. We will stand up Buzz Justice there. We'll stand up this guy here and just mob. Um, that middle of the field up. We're going to stand this guy up. One, two, three, four, five, and bring him down there and mark the ghost. Then we'll go for a handoff from this gutter. It's going to dodge to there on a two plus. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pick up the ball on a two plus. Seven, eight, nine into there. We'll go rush to there for ten. And a dodge and a rush there. So a rush first, then a dodge. Dodge reroll. Yeah. And a handoff to the green dude. Drops oh. it. We'll burn the last reroll. And he oh. still drops it. <laughs> and bounces to one. Which is north. Just there. I'm going to start it off with Blodge doing a block on our friend over there. Blodge Wolf. Both down. Both down. Takes him down. And can Mighty Blow do its job? No. no. Okay, we're going to go one, two, three, four. To here. Scarecrow is going to block for not Buzz Justice. Yeah, with the extra support, gives him two. Put some to there. We'll follow up. See, should have had Scarecrow on this the entire time. <laughs> no, six. His armor's all right. Okay. I'm going to blitz with the golem. One, two, three. Ooh, just realized my predicament in this. 
It's going to be a one die block. One, two, three. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. And then over That's right. Yeah. So one die block on our friend in green. A push. And I will push him onto the ball. Yeah. Following um, up? Yeah, I am. So following up from there and then scatter. Chop. You go for it. You yeah. go for it. You go for it. Oh, <laughs> killing everything <laughs> on a seven. So from him. From here, isn't yeah. it? So it'll be in there. Okay. Um, who else have we got? Might as well do a one die block here. Yeah. See if I can get anything out of it. Powers him down. Yeah. And let's not put it into the ball that time. Yeah. Two tackle zones on it. Uh, armor holds. holds. And Wolfie up in the corner. Can have a one die on the thrower. So this guy here, one die frenzy block. It's a push. I assume he's going that he way. Is indeed. Yeah. He's right. And again. Both down. Both down. Both down? Yep. Both, Both down. down. Right. Armour for the thrower. That's not good. Uh, he's he's right. stunned. Werewolf is fine Just too. Fine. For Skaven. Let's stand him up here in the backfield. Uh, and I think we will stand up this guy here. Get a tackle zone on the ball. Gutter runner looks to be safe in the open for now. That one is extremely not safe, so we are going to be more safe and move away. So one, two, three, to there. We'll stand up, Buzz Justice, go against Scarecrow there, and then we'll frenzy a blitz uh, Scarecrow with the Angry Bear, who is too angry to do anything about it. So I can bring a gut around to get two dice on this guy, but that's just gonna sidestep onto the ball. So I think for now, Two tackle zones apiece. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Gollum is going to two die block. Greeny. Both got yep. block. So uh, well, no, my purple's got block. Oh, yeah, he so, goes down. Of course, so he's okay. That's tackle, I think. He's all right. It is. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. If you could stand up, Wolfie here, stick him in the end zone for me. Get him ready. Hopefully. This guy is going to block him. All the dice. That's good enough. He can follow up. To there. Then Wolfie's going to block. Bludge Wolf, two dice. Yeah, powers him down. To there. Obviously, he has to follow up. Ten on the armour. Still has mighty blow. That's no, a stun. He is going to blitz him. Okay. I haven't blitzed yet, have I? Nope. So one die blitz, block on block. Doesn't matter, knocks him down. So the armor holds, so one, two, no, two. Marking yeah. the gutter. And then I'm gonna bring him round to here. And a Scarecrow is gonna block him on a does it make a difference? Mm, it's one dice, yeah. So he was there. Yeah. One, two, three, four. So let's put him back. So what he's going to do is going to go one, two, three, four. And then he's going to block Buzz. Yep. Or not Buzz. Two dice. Powers him down. So he can go to there. Scarecrow can follow up. He's still alright. Uh, that's me. That's my everything. He's going to stay down. He's stunned. We are going to go for a blitz with Mr. Angry here, and yep. he's going to have a go at the loner. He's all right with it. One, two, three, four, five. And we'll take two dice on the zombie. Well, that basically sums up how the Red Ogres had <laughs> today. Oh, casualties himself. Well, breaks his own armor. Oh, and knocked out. I'm going for one thing and one thing only. So the ghoul is going to pick the ball up, pass it to Blodge. I like it. And then away. So, first roll, three plus to pick up. The ball is. is a All two, over. And that's the game. <laughs>
Um, oh, I, I don't know. I felt, it felt pressured the entire time. And having both those wolves now is such a threat. It's massive, isn't it? It's it, you got the the downfield threat, but also you've got to be careful with frenzy. You've got to be careful with the claws, and the amount of movement they got is just crazy. I, I love a werewolf. For me, they're they're better than war dancers. Always felt that they're the better ones out of everything. They've, they've got more punch. They feel fairer. Uh, <laughs> they do feel fairer. There is that. To be to be fair, both those guys having claws against Skaven does nothing. No, it really doesn't. Especially with both the blitzers out, so every block it like it just meant their skill did nothing until old Blodgewolf got a mighty blow with his knuckle dusters. Yep, that way um, happened and started plowing through the casualties. Did get him another casualty, but no, good game. Thank yeah. you very much. No, I my mean, pleasure. Necro and Skaven t tend to be a bit of a brawl, and you were knocking the guys down, but that our armor was invincible today. Couldn't break it at all. No, couldn't break it. But there wasn't it wasn't too much blood on the pitch at all anywhere. I feel like your golem deserved more. He really did. He, he tried well, so hard. This guy standing in for Buzz Justice <laughs> just took it for the team repeatedly. I did my best. Uh, I did my best. So we do MVP by pick three and roll a D3 because it speeds the play along when you're doing tabletop. Uh, so Rich, for the Necro team, we had Hackensack, the Vanilla Golem. Yep. We had uh, Jaeger von Bites, <laughs> the Vanilla Werewolf and then Marrow Guts, who's actually done some stuff before. He's got a touchdown before. So, we're ready. Roll away, which way are you going? Left or right? Cool, so Marrow Guts gets yes. the MVP. So, he's now got eight, no, seven, seven. because it's four now. It MVP. is indeed. Yeah, got so that wrong. Just shy. First game. Uh, well, six gets him a straight up thing. It does. What do you reckon? Yeah, let's go random. You want to go random? Why not? He's got six, and he's got general and agility. He's got general, which means I can give him block. He can go, so he can go blodge, he can go sure hands. I think blodge. Yeah, I think. I think blodge. I think a bit more meat for the grinder. That'll keep him alive longer as well. That's it, and then we'll get um, next one, should get sure hands. Bit of support along the way. Yeah, I like that for Marrow Guts. It's been a long time coming. Uh, Skaven team, we've got no blitzers left. Um, <laughs> The Rat Ogre does not deserve it. No. I mean, he was poor today. Yeah, it you? was not good. Um, yeah, no, not good. So we're going for three linemen. Uh, we've got, because they are sort of sitting in the, the threshold where this is going to mean they can actually take a, a standard skill. Uh -huh. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Number 11, who did get the casualty this game. He did. Uh, is going to get it. Right, so he's sitting at six SPP. Do you, do you think another block rat is the right way to go? I th How much dodge is left? Um, for them to face. Who have we got? Wood Elves are gonna be this team's next game. Tackle. We've got one tackle. Get two of them on the line. Uh, first thing they wanna do is dodge away or leave them out on the sides. Tackle on either sideline and you can use them to tie up. What about Wrestle? I like Wrestle. Wrestle for taking down a Blodger. Wrestle's good. Yeah, all right. You can't go wrong with a wrestling no, rat. So. so we'll take Wrestle on that guy. I like it. Fantastic. Happy with that. Both teams got a bit of cash, but this team now has got both werewolves. Does have to save up a little bit, I think, to get the second ghost. What did you think to the, the, the Wraith? I think it's... I think it's lost, but then I'm trying to play it as a white. Yeah. And it's difficult because it's like, you know what I want to do? I want to pick up the ball here and possibly move along. Um, I think they're more niche. I think they're handy because of the movement, having seven movement. Um, sorry, the six movement in amongst mostly fours is handy. You don't have to use one of your decent positionals to tie somebody up. Yeah. Um, I think maybe give them shadowing and tackle at some point and then they become a, a thorn in someone's side. But it's all about the werewolves, really, isn't it? It's is all about the werewolves. And now that this team's got both of them, one of them's blooming blodging and already going towards getting that a third level up. Uh, yeah. That's where the team starts to shine. Yeah, very much so. It is about the wolves. <sighs> Love it. Anyway, thank well, you very much, mate. I appreciate you coming over for a game. And uh, right, we'll wrap up. Thank you very much for watching. We'll be back soon with more Blood Bowl content. Happy blocking.
thanks very much for watching we really appreciate your support if you want to help support the channel even further please like and subscribe or come join us on our patreon we have early access to content we get loads of feedback from you guys and we try and do competitions as much as we can or you can get yourself some bonehead podcast merch on our spreadshirt site so if you want to support a team especially for the bonehead championship you can pick up a shirt a mug things like that it all helps support the channel and we really appreciate it anyway links below thank you very much happy blogging